Cubs, it's Ben. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you didn't see my last video, it was Ben does her makeup, and make sure you check that out. But for today's video, I'm doing my first testing of product. So, YouTubers all over are doing these testing product videos, like guy test girl products or girl test guy products or testing Kylie Cosmetics and all that testing products. So I thought I would do my first one, which this was a while ago, but people would be getting a peel off black mask and it was called the Savage Black Mask, I believe, um, is what I've heard that one of them was called. So today I'm testing one and it's a Dr. Davy black mask and if you don't know what this is it is a charcoal mask and charcoal is very healthy for any part of your skin for your teeth it whitens your teeth for your face and just get rid of any grossness like blackheads or pimples which I don't have my skin is perfect um so uh, it just I'm just gonna test it because a lot of people say it hurts really bad and you know me I'm a tough bear. I don't get hurt. I don't get scared. So Obviously, um, so this is a whitening peel-off mask and I don't get why it says whitening when it's black It shouldn't be saying blacking peel-off mask. No, it's a charcoal peel-off mask. So Let's get started and apply. Okay guys, so I moved the camera a little closer up and it says, let's read the back, even though I hate reading. Um, it says, caution, avoid contact with the eyes if products enter eyes when thoroughly with water. And then it says, black mask can make the skin white and soft. I'm putting the skin natural moisturizing and whitening, making the sun, giving the skin silky smooth touch. Galloween, peel like white luster, and gently remove the old skin cells to smooth, skin smooth and delicate. Um, where was I? Oh, flesh and soft white. Okay, whatever. This is my too long wait. Okay, let's just get started. So, um, it says Chinese on the bottom, which hung. Let's just. I don't know what it says. Okay, so let's squat it down to the bottom. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Um, it's very weird. I think it doesn't get my bent, so just rub it together. Just apply on my face. <laughs> it's kind of like you're drawing on your face. Like, is that what it's supposed to be for? I don't think it's supposed to be for cleaning your face. I think it's supposed to be for dwelling on your face. Now, I heard people say it hurts like crazy when you peel it off. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna react to it because people have different pain tolerance. Um, I'm gonna make a mustache with it. Oh wait. Time lapse. Okay, this is very messy. So first of all, starting off, super messy on your hands. It like, it's such a weird texture that it doesn't go on your face. Like the access on your hands won't go on your face. Second of all, it's getting all over my hand. I'm so upset. I'm gonna have to do a lot of extra cleaning on my phone today. Third of all, it's like not 
I don't know. I, it's like super duper messy. And like, I don't care if it's messy because I love being messy. I hate being clean. But this, I don't accept. Not at all. <sighs> so now we just have to wait till it dries. And you'll feel it, your face kind of stiffing up um, when it dries. And then, oh, look. It's like shimmering from my wing light. Wow, it's shimmering from my wing light. I'm gonna get close to my wing light and see it's shimmering. My wing light is over there. If you don't, if you don't, if you wanna know. Okay, let me push this down my toy pod. <coughs> oh, I just had to push my toy pod down. Okay, so yeah, it's like super messy, making my hands like stick together. So I guess this is what it's like. Ooh, maybe we could peel it off our hands first when it dries, and then we'll see how it feels on our face compared to our hands. So, actually no, I'm just gonna wash off my hands. So you're supposed to wait. Um, it doesn't give you like a time of how long you're supposed to wait. Just wait until you feel it drying and it stiffens up. Also, I got into my eyebrow a little bit, so definitely gonna get some eyebrow hairs removed today um, when I wasn't planning it. And it's getting all over the place. Like, it's all on my front, it's on my bed. I mean, it's super duper messy. And you can only see my face right now. Like, this is. We had to gonna bend it down a little bit. Let's fix this toy pod. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh wait. Yeah, so we just wait. Okay, so I definitely feel it stiffing up and it's like coming off at some parts. So it's gotta be wetty. It's gotta be wetty in a few minutes because it's still a little wet up here. Um, but it's definitely dry down here on my cheek. Oh, this part is not dry yet. But, yeah, we just have to wait probably five more minutes, so. Okay, guys, now that it's all dry, as you can see, oh, it hurts so bad to just, like, start to face. So, it's, like, coming off all wetty. So, obviously, that means it's wetty. So, let's just stop peeling. Oh, that was easy. Didn't hurt. I can't get a good grip on any of it. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh my god. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ow. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, go like way she on is. It makes her eyes water. Oh my god, that hurts so badly. Maybe we can start from the head. Bye, Marie. Bye. Ow, ow, ow. Just took off my hair. Oh, I'm just gonna try to like try to like. <laughs> One sec, my dad just got home. He was saying hi to me. Uh, oh. I think this technique is working a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna whip it off like a bandit. So far, this is terrible. 
Skin on but my eyes are wandering. Caught it. Let's see. Oh, it actually does take off a lot of glossness. I don't have any, but I saw some little speckles on that. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. I just have to close my eyes and just go. I'm sad. It cut my lip. Clap. It's on my lip. It's everywhere. It doesn't come off. is literally bleeding. Do you see this? <clears throat> He's playing good. So, so far, not a fan of this product. It hurts. I know it's a peel-off mask, but they should make it like non-painful. I mean, it's a terrible product. <laughs> and don't buy this. It ruins the face and it pulls the skin. And it makes their mouth bleed. Unless I just have chapped lips. But still, I'm just going to say it was the mask's fault. <laughs> I really can't even get the rest off. Ow. Does that hurt as bad? Oh, gosh. I still have a long piece right here. You just can't get a grip of it. Like, it's so hard to get a grip. This challenge has gone wrong. Black mask, black mask challenge gone wrong. Twiggered warning. Peels off my skin. That's the title of this video. My goodness. My face is so wet from this. But it's supposed to clean your face, not make it wet. I'm so upset. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. It was very painful and I suggest not to buy this product. Even if you cleaned your face, just use normal face wash. Okay, because this is what happens and it hurts. And look how wet my cheeks are from peeling it off and it just hurts. I don't like charcoal face masks. I'm never using one ever again. And it gets all over your fur. And on over your bed. Then of course you didn't get on my fan art. Oh, speaking of fan art, make sure that you send me some fan art. Um, I don't know my PO box is yet, but I'll, when I figure that out, I'll always I'll, I'll put it in the description box below. But if you know me, then make sure to draw me some fan art so I can add more to my collection. Cause this is all I have so far. Oh, wait, let me. Oh, this is as much as I have. And I want more! So again, don't buy this product, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe! Because when I get to 50 subscribers, I'll be dumping 50 things on my head. So if you want to see that, then watch this.
and then subscribe. So, bye.